हेल पीपल गुड मॉर्निंग विद आर न्यू वीडियो ऑफ आर आर्ट क्लास टूडे टॉपिक इज कैंडस्की कॉन्सेंट्रिक सर्कल फॉर दिस टॉपिक फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एन आर्टिस्ट आर्टिस्ट नोम बाई कैंडस्की टीचर He then realized his love for music and art deserved to be in his life more. At 30, he decided he wanted to be an artist. So he attended an art school in Germany. In 1909, he began to think that painting didn't need a particular su- subject. But shapes and colors alone could be art. He would start to paint what would become abstract art. He was the founder of this type of art. Between 1919 and 1921, he moved back to Russia and married a lady named Nina. Unfortunately, his art was rejected in Russia, so he moved back to Germany and taught people at an art school. In 1934, he left Germany to Paris because of the Nazis. One of his famous artwork called Composition VI, made in 1913, took him 6 months to plan out. He was an artist that liked to take time and make many rough copies of his art before he made the final copy. The specific artwork was based on a number of feelings including flood, baptism, destruction and rebirth. This artwork took 3 days for him to make for the final copy. Some of his paintings use names as if they were a song, but only the ones that he thought that they were his best work. He once quoted, "Everything starts from a dot." Okay that was the biography of the artist now using this method we are going to uh, do our artwork for today so in today's art class uh, we are going to work on the on the method of uh, the artist now here is the catch where we are not going to use any colors or any com- combination of colors we are going to use warm colors and cool colors for our today's topic in actual world uh, we when this art form is made you can use any sort of colors any shades no specific colors ki you go good in this but in this art work today we are going to uh, differentiate between warm and cool colors and that basis we are going to go forward with our art class today uh, very very important thing as shown on the video you are not supposed to use the only thing what is shown on the video you can use whatever materials you have at your place it could be water colors it could be pencil colors it could be oil pastel colors anything required you have at home use that or is any paper which you have these are the materials pencils scale colors markers and blank paper going ahead we'll do a first fold on a vertical side First thing we are going to divide our page into six parts. So this is the method I am showing you to divide your paper into six parts. So we get six boxes. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six boxes right now. Now, using a marker, sketch pen, or a ball pen, anything what you have. We are going to make the outline for that boxes so that we know where what is to be drawn. Going ahead now, showing you where the warm colors will come and where the cool colors will appear. Now, right now, we have to make four circles. So, as you see, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes we have. We need to make four circles in each boxes. We have finished third, and the last one is the 
a circle which is not totally circle but the formation of circle this acquires the whole box same way you can do in all other five boxes Done. Now these are the colors. What I'm going to use. You can use any colors you have at your place. This is the nature where we are going to make warm colors. Warm color consists of your yellow, orange, red, brown. These are your warm colors. Use dark colors. You can. Use it multiple times. But try to avoid uh, doing side by side same color. Otherwise, it will mix up the circle. Once we are done with the warm colors, we are going ahead with the cool colors. The cool colors, as follows, we are going to use light blue. We are going to use blue, dark blue. Light green, dark green. Yeah, the, at the end of the video right now. So use of these colors and make a beautiful art artwork from this. Okay. This is all done. Thank you.